good day everyone we will discuss about a scenario where always on availability group database is a not synchronizing status let's get started we'll be using this particular um, availability group environment for this video we have uh, three replicas jbs ag1 jbs ag2 and jbs ag3 jbs ag1 and jbs ag2 are on uh, east us region and jbs ag3 is in um, korea central JVS AG1 and JVS AG2 replica are configured using synchronous commit and JVS AG3 is configured with uh, asynchronous commit. We will be having a database called JVS Wiki added to uh, the availability group called JVS AG and we have a listener called JVS APP. The whole setup uses an underlying Windows cluster called uh, JVS Wiki cluster. Let's um, lo log into the uh, primary replica, which is your JBS AG1, and then let's uh, look at the always on availability group dashboard. So if we look at the always on availability group dashboard, what we are able to see is like, we are able to see that um, the secondary replicas, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3, are basically like uh, we are able to see that it is failed. And we have a warning symbol here, and if we click on that, it basically tells that the data synchronization state of this availability database is unhealthy on an asynchronous commit availability replica. Every availability database should be in the synchronizing state on an asynchronous uh, commit replica. Every database should be in the synchronized state. So this is what uh, uh, we are able to see. It basically tells like on asynchronous commit, it should be in a synchronizing state and on a synchronous commit replica it should be synchronized so that means like uh, we don't see either of these here so what we'll do now we will uh, check the uh, secondary replica and then let's look at the uh, status of uh, this particular database let's uh, first look the database status here in uh, jbs ag1 what we're able to see that uh, the jbs wiki database which is part of this uh, availability group jbs ag it is in synchronized mode, but uh, let's look at uh, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3. So uh, we will just look at JBS AG2 here, yeah? and what we are able to see is like it is not synchronizing. So let's refresh that, and then if you see here, it basically tells like uh, the status of uh, this particular database is not synchronizing. So let's go to the availability group here, yeah? and then we are able to see that it is a secondary replica. So now let's look at um, the availability replica here and then the availability database what we are able to see is like uh, um, it, it is uh, kind of failed here it is definitely failed here so now what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, uh, suspend the data moment and then i will uh, check what happens if i suspend and resume the data moment just to make sure if i'm able to see uh, any difference or changes as far as uh, um, uh, this particular step is concerned. So let me resume the data moment. Uh, it is resuming. Let's wait for uh, uh, updating the object explorer. But what I'm able to see is like uh, the data moment, even after suspending and resuming, I'm able to see that uh, it has basically failed. So now what I'll do is like I will uh, try executing this. Uh, uh, a DMV query where I'm um, uh, uh, um, uh, joining sys.dm HADR availability replica states and uh, sys.availability replicas. And then I'm basically checking um, 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 uh, what is the error as far as um, the connection is concerned from uh, the primary to secondary. So let me execute that. And what I'm able to see is like I'm seeing it connected here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the same uh, uh, DMV query. Uh, and I'm going to check what's the status as far as JBS AG2 is concerned. And if we see here, what we are able to see is like it is basically telling like it is disconnected. And then uh, we have the error, yeah. So this error, let's look at this error here. So if we see here, so we are seeing in uh, connection attempt failed with error 10060. A connection attempt failed because the connected party did not properly respond after a P 
period of time or uh, established connection failed because connected host has uh, failed to respond so it is basically telling like there is a connection issue so what we'll do now we will check the sql server error log and then let's see if we are able to get some information there now we will check the sql error log on jbs ag2 if you run that uh, what i'm able to see is like so we um, i'm able to see that we just tried uh, suspend and resumed we are able to see that information but let's look at it further so so yep so this is one message that i'm seeing which is let's look at it So the message is a connection timeout has occurred while attempting to establish a connection to availability replica JBS AG1. Either a networking or firewall issue exists. It basically tells like it is not able to connect to JBS AG1. That's the message that we are seeing right now. Uh, let's uh, check the JBS AG1, which is your primary replica, and then see what uh, messages or errors we have there. So if we look at it here, it is basically telling. So we get an get so it basically tells like automatic seeding of availability database. Let's look at it. Automatic seeding of uh, availability database JBS Wiki in uh, availability group JBS AG failed with a transient error. The operation will be retired. So it basically tells like uh, um, failed with the transient error, but not sure what is that. Um, and then what else we have in this uh, replica? So source check if seeding failed with result. Checking if seeding needed needed failed with result. Seeding encoder transient failure state 108. So yeah, so this is the, these are the errors that we are able to see, but uh, we don't have anything concrete telling what is our problem. So looking further, it's the same error that we are seeing here. So let's let's well, um, check further here. Uh, it's basically retrying here yeah, the seeding method, and uh, it is basically failing. That's what we are seeing. Okay. So yeah, what I'm able to see is like we are getting the same message, a connection. Let's look at that. Okay, it basically tells like uh, um, the same message that we saw in JBS AG2 as well. So JB, on JBS AG2, we were able to see that it was not able to connect to JBS AG1. And JBS AG1, which is a primary replica, it tells like it's not able to connect to the secondary, which is JBS AG2. So that's what we are seeing here and uh, what else we are seeing. So it basically tells like it's not able to connect to the secondary and secondary is not able to connect to the primary. That is what we are seeing here. So what we'll do now is like we will uh, we'll try connecting to, uh, it basically tells like it is not able to connect to the secondary. Let's try connecting to the secondary here from uh, this SSMS. And uh, what I'm seeing is like, JBS AG2, it is uh, the taking time to connect. I'm not sure what is the error. Let's wait for it to uh, um, come back with the error or in case if it makes the connection, that is well and good. Okay, so uh, uh, it basically tells like a network related or instance specific error occurred. Network path was not found. So we are not able to connect to JBS AG2. So what we'll do now, we will try uh, pinging JBS AG2 from here. And what I'm seeing is like, um, uh, I guess I'm not able to ping. Let's try the same thing for uh, JBS AG3 as well. And what I'm seeing is like, uh, yeah, it is not able to uh, uh, ping JBS AG3 as well. So at this moment, what we can do is like, we can involve someone from the platforms team or from uh, 
the networking team to see why we are not able to uh, uh, get any ping response as far as JBS AG2 and JBS AG3 is concerned. So what we'll do now is like we will uh, get to uh, JBS AG2 and then let's uh, uh, try pinging JBS AG1. We tried pinging it. And what I'm seeing is like um, here as well, I'm not able to ping. So it basically gives an error. Um, it basically tells like it is uh, the request is timed out. Previously, it got pinged. And what I'm able to see is like the IP address is 172.20.1.5. But here, uh, what I'm seeing is like it is trying to ping a different IP. Uh, it is not. Uh, 1.5 is 1.50. So what I'll do is like I will try IP config for uh, JBS AG2 and then look at uh, IPv4 address here and what I'm seeing is like I'm seeing that the IP address for this particular uh, server JBS AG2 is 172.20.1.6. Let's see what it is uh, from JBS AG1 what is it trying to ping. And if you see here, it is uh, it is trying to ping 172.20.1.60, but the actual IP address is uh, .6. So that means there is high possibility uh, we might have an um, uh, entry on um, uh, the host file. So let's look at it, then see if we have any um, entries for JBS AG2 and JBS AG3. And if you can see here, we are able to see that we have a uh, wrong entry here. So what I'm going to do, I'm not sure who has done that. So let's uh, comment it out. And let's uh, check the other two servers as well and see if we have uh, uh, any bad entries there as well. So let's go to C drive, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC, and then host file here. And then let's check it here and here as well we are able to see uh, we are having a uh, wrong entry so what I'm going to do I'm going to comment this as well let's do the same thing on JBS AG3 as well let's try that so let's go to start run C colon Windows so let's go there and then if you check this Yes, we have an entry here as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to comment it out. There is a wrong entry for um, uh, the host name. Maybe like there were some uh, issues and it was not resolving and someone has put in that entry. Maybe that is the reason. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to see what is the status now as far as the availability group is concerned and also what I'll do is like I will try connecting to uh, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3 and see if it is going to connect yes now I'm able to connect to JBS AG2 uh, let's check JBS AG3 it's taking time but it is connecting this time without any issue so now what I'm going to do I'm going to look at the always on availability group dashboard and if you can see here as expected as soon as we commented that uh, erroneous uh, entry on the host file we are able to see that the availability group uh, is synchronized now so if you see here the database is synchronized in JBS AG3 as well it is synchronizing because it's an asynchronous replica it is always advised that um, um, uh, we shouldn't be putting any uh, entries on the host file. Even if we do that, it should be a temporary workaround and it should be removed as soon as possible. So the uh, actual resolution for that would be like to involve platforms and networking team and understand the actual issue and then try resolving that. So this uh, this issue as far as um, uh, this particular error where we had this um, uh, connectivity problem and this caused the issue there can be other uh, reasons as well for example someone changed um, uh, the password of uh, uh, the SQL service account and um, or let's say like from the domain um, Active Directory domain uh, someone has changed the SQL service account uh, uh, password and if it is not updated on the SQL services that is from using the configuration manager if you have not uh, updated that um, password the correct password then when the next time the SQL server um, uh, 
um, uh, tries to um, uh, synchronize the database like when you try to move the data as far as availability group is concerned there is high possibility you might get into this issue so uh, that is also one thing for example if you get into this issue and you look at the host file and there is no entry this is one more thing that you guys can uh, check out wherein to make sure like uh, uh, the service account password is um, uh, updated as far as um, the configuration manager is concerned. One way to look at it is like when you try restarting the uh, secondary replica from the configuration manager, SQL services might fail because the password is changed and it is not updated. So that way you will be able to understand it and then you can update the uh, uh, SQL service account password. That is one thing that can be tried as well. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.